Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, here to serve all your mighty pirate needs. Pleasure to meet you, Guybrush. I am Haggis McMutton of the Clan McMutton. How did you become a barber pirate? I spent ten years at sea on board the HMS Anathema, the fastest ship in the Scottish Navy. So how did that help you become a barber pirate? It was a clip of ship. Ah. So you started this salon? Aye, but not on the own. I grew to love hairstyling so much, I told two of my best friends about it. And then they told two friends. Aye, and they told two friends, and so on and so on. I want to know more about safe hair replacement systems. Ach, there's no such thing. It's no proper to fool with the course of nature. Do you know any rousing pirate stories? Well, there is the story of the secret of Bulky Island. We were a crew of two score men under the command of Big Jake McJuggernaut, the most powerful captain on the seas. One night in port, Captain Jake heard the tale of an enormous treasure buried somewhere on Bulky Island. We set sail and landed on the island within a fortnight and found the treasure the next morning. Bulky Island? Where's that? You won't find it on any map. Captain Jake took the location of the treasure to his grave. Oh, it was a beautiful sight. A tremendous chest made of solid gold. Big Jake leapt into the hole and wrapped his sinewy arms around the chest. He gathered his resolve, counted to three, filled his lungs and lifted with all his might. The sound of his back cracking brought a grimace to even the most steel-hearted crewman. By nightfall, the lot of us were lying on the beach, writhing in pain. Why didn't you lift with your knees? That would have been the weak man's way out. The pirate Angus McFolkham had followed us to Bulky Island, wanting the treasure for himself. The weakling used a lever and took the chest, laughing at us as he carried it to his ship. And my proud Captain McJuggernaut died in traction, cursing himself for not being strong enough. How would you like to join my crew? You seem like a nice enough sort, Guybrush. But a man cannot serve as my captain unless he earns me respect. And how would a man go about doing that? By besting me in a time-honored test of strength. Australian rules football. No, I'm talking about the traditional Highland display of strength and virility. The caber toss. Oh, but in school I was always picked last for caber tossing. Maybe it's because you weren't familiar enough with the sport. You see, the caber is a large tree trunk. We go to the field of competition, and each of us heaves the caber as far as he can. The man whose caber goes the farthest is the winner. That's just about the stupidest sport I've ever heard of. And I watch cable television. Aye, but they cannot argue with tradition. Ah, toss this. Haggis. That's an unusual name. I suppose it is, but Haggis is just a nickname. The given name is heart, liver, and kidneys boiled in the stomach of the animal McMutton. Oh, so your parents were expecting a girl. Aye. What is that blue stuff in the jar anyway? Ah, the old comb juice. It is a fiery brew that's bested many a sailor with her fermented froth. It'll burn your throat unless you chase it with conditioner. Those sure are nice scissors. Aye, they're my best pair. They can cut through almost anything. Why are they in the ceiling? Sometimes I cut hair so fast, the scissors fly from my hands at unbelievable speeds. Could I uh, borrow those scissors for a minute? Sorry, no. They're much too valuable to me. You know they can cut through almost anything. Yes, I believe you mentioned that. Never mind. I sure could use a haircut. Have a seat, laddie, and I'll do you up with a fine quaff. Ugh, blast that ineffectual paperweight. I'll have to go find another. But well, what about my haircut? Keep your skirt on, lad.
Phew. Well, I searched the whole island, and I couldn't have found a single rock for a paperweight. I suppose I'll just have to eyeball your haircut. I just remembered I have another appointment. Oh, I was going to give you a French braid, too. <laughs> <laughs>